Morning after, the night before, what do we do on a Sunday? I'm not going to work, so let's walk the dog. Well, I say I'm not going to work. I'll probably go down and drop these off. I've got some soapstone for writing on the metal work. And I also got the tungsten carbide burrs to go in the Dremel. So that should help me wear the uh, steel away when I have to put the fittings on the tanks. So we'll drop these off, I think, today. Where's he going? He thinks we're having a fit. Where are you going, Chance? Dad. Oh, he's gone up. He's gone to lay on the sofa. Come here, boy. Mm. Oh, so there's a nutter, aren't you, boy? There you up. Oh, he's had a back up. I think he likes it up there, doesn't he? <laughs> the divvy nut. Right, here we are. Here we are again. God, I'm so chuffed with these bleeding welds, you know. They look absolutely awesome. That one does anyway, it's a lovely weave. So, drop off the burrs, drop off the chalk. The old soapstone. AKA French chalk. I've never actually bought any of this stuff before. But it's uh, good for writing on metals and things. Yeah, that's about as uh, that's about as interesting as today's gonna get folks. So just dropping that off. Have you seen uh, as well my Beaver Town London thing that I just chucked in the old saw saw cupboard there? Yeah, another thing that's just like, it's all filler. It's all filler. Oh yes, I could actually come down today and do two or three hours in here. But alas, Gemma's working tonight and I have to uh, look after the kids, cook some dinner maybe, and uh, walk the dog. Tom, what are you doing? What? What are you doing? Just nipping round to the old Queen's to drop off a Mother's Day card and uh, see how long over she is after last night's uh, session on the mango cider. How do? <laughs> are you over? No, I'm not over. <laughs> That's a surprise. <laughs> Pretty good stuff these days. I thought, yeah, I thought you'd have been. Yeah, I'm a mango cider. Thought it'd have finished you off. I know, and I had to, I had to force, I went to the toilet three times this morning to try and do a pull. I was constipated. That's going in vlog. I, oh, Stuart Chris, don't bloody hell. Alright, I'll see you later, Mum. Good luck with your constipation. Thank you. <laughs> Another cup of tea to see me alright. For the gal on the cider. No. <laughs> right, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Yeah, boy. So the tripod's snapped, hasn't it, Dom? Yep. That's going to mean we're we're going to have to go to the shop at some point and uh, repair the tripod. We'll do that tomorrow. It's I will. green. Yeah, it's a green mucky rock. Okay, nice. Yeah, mucky rock. That's where we are. Yep. So we've came in through. Okay, we are around about 
here. We've just gone down there. No, we haven't. We're still here, darling. So we can go all the way down the east ride. Oh. And then back up the wood ride. Let's we go could down go the east ride. You could do that or okay. you could do... So is this the east ride? No, this is the east ride in front of us. I'd rather go to okay, the... Let's go to the east ride. Let's go. We're going down the east ride. Yeah. Can you see the bird nest in the tree? Yeah. Uh, Abigail's the only one with the sensible shoes on. I've got sensible footwear on. So this is a no-go. We're gonna abort and we'll take another another ride. Come on, boy. Come on then. Well, Let's abort. Well, Go well, down a dry up path. Is it a wigwam? Or a bivouac? Dan, I can barely fit in. Oh, yeah. This one's more worth it. Yes, I'm in. This one's the better one. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in. Because this one probably will protect you from rain. Well, a few drops will get in. Oh, well, what you do is you build this. And then you put like. And then you go and get all of the ferns from over there, all the bracken. And, and you cover it in bracken leaves. And then it stops okay, away. Here's another one, look. Yeah, this is just a it's a one man bivouac. It works. So you just crawl in backwards. Yes. Don't get going in though, because you don't know what's in there. Oh yeah, it can so get it have the in. same idea that you said. Yeah, they covered it with leaves and bracken look to make it watertight. Yeah, well, if this is the camp, then that's obviously the camp leader's chair. And yeah. if you're in charge, you get to sit in that chair. Yeah. We and if you're not in charge, you have to sit on these. Look at this bracket fungus. Yeah. Everybody yeah. sit down, sit down. Just make sure it's not hot. It shouldn't be. You touch it. But this is where they make charcoal. Is it hot? No, it's cold. I know why. So they've got a riddle there to riddle the charcoal. I know why you make charcoal. And here's all the uh, the leftovers, you the waste to, material. You use timber to make charcoal. You do. But you've got to stop the oxygen you getting to it. Yep. No, it was a gun, darling. Who's hunted? Somebody will be shooting pheasants. Do not touch that. Is it smelly? Yep. Yeah. You enjoy that walk, Abs? <laughs> Good. So did Chancy Pants. Can I? Can I? What? Hang out in the boot with Chance. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hang out in the boot with Chance? Yeah. You nutter. Come on. So we've got some chicken in the oven. The time is now five to seven on the on a Sunday eve. I'm having a little bit of scrumpy wasp, local cider from East Markham. Very nice. And uh, yeah, I've been really actually quite worn down today. I probably hit it a little bit hard yesterday with the celebrations and all. Um, but I think just a bit of Sunday dinner. Nice relaxing day, I should be back to find full fettle in the morning. I guess I'd better peel these carrots then. <laughs> Tom would like that, wouldn't you Tom? And uh, we'll see you in the shop tomorrow. Lots of welding to be done. Can we do some more arty farty shots like I did on Friday? Was it Friday? I think it was. They were good weren't they? Right. See you tomorrow, folks. Mm -hmm.